Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can prepare a script and record voiceovers inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So, if you want to record voiceovers, you're going to want to go over to the Fairlight tab. Here there is a mode, you can see it at the top left hand corner, it's called ADR next to the sound library. If we click on that, we'll see three tabs. List, which allows us to set up character dialogue. Basically to write out the lines and the time where those lines should take place for whoever is doing the voiceovers. The record tab, which is for actually recording your voiceovers, and you can record one and then take a second take and so on and rate those takes. And then the setup tab, which has a series of settings that you can use to help customize your recordings. But one of the more important things here is going to be character setup, which allows you to add the names of the speakers at various points during your clip into your dialogue setup so you can keep track of who is talking when. So for these two clips here, we're simply gonna have a narrator. So back over on the Fairlight tab, I'm gonna hit add new, and I'm just gonna call this first character narrator. If you have more characters, you can feel free to add them in below. And then when we go back to the list tab, you'll be able to create new cues. And a cue is basically a segment of time where a character is going to be speaking a specific line so when you record a cue, it will start at the time in, and it will stop when you reach the time out. So, so one cue is usually going to refer to one spoken line that you may take multiple takes of, and typically it's going to have one person speaking. So as you can see, the timing of the cue is going to be based on where you are at the timeline. So I'm 17 frames in from the start of this timeline uh, when I hit new cue there. If I don't want that, I can right-click, hit delete, and I could go to the absolute start of the video, frame zero, hit new cue, and you'll see that the time in and time out update there as well. You can also go up here where it mentions the cue and change the timing. So if I want this cue to last for seven seconds, I can simply erase the five seconds and change it to seven, which will update there. And when you hit record, it will be recording for seven seconds now instead of five. Also, you can click on your cue and select the character from the drop down menu. Note that You'll only have access to characters that you actually added in character setup on the setup tab, so make sure you do that first. And then you can write in the line or copy paste it from another program that you want the voice actor to speak during that cue. So as you can see, we have some clips here about cows. So I'll make the voice acting cow related. So for the dialogue, I'll just type in something kind of silly, such as here is a cow, the most majestic of beasts. And maybe I'll drop the cue length back to five seconds. So now we have that first cue set up, but maybe we also want to go here to the start of the second clip and add in a cue as well. So I'll leave it at the second of the transition where I can have the timeline cursor just snap there to five with 24 trailing frames. And we'll add a new cue there. So new cue, note that it starts from 524, it goes five seconds by default, and we can of course change those numbers if we need to and I'll write in a new line. Okay, so we have our cues written. We can click on the cues, which will instantly jump to that point in the timeline. And you'll note that in the viewer over here, that it will actually show those lines. Now these only appear for recording. They aren't actually included in the final video output. Now note that the written form of these cue lines only appear in the viewer while we're over on the Fairlight tab in ADR mode. If we jump back to the edit mode, uh, you won't see them. So it's not quite the same as having a subtitle. So now let's talk about how you can actually set up your microphone for recording your voiceovers here. So in the bottom right, you may see a mixer, which will have A1 or A2 with an import that will probably say no import right now, and effects, which won't have anything there except for a plus icon. If you don't see that, you can open the mixer at the top right by clicking mixer. And the first thing we're going to need to set up is the input. So if you click on input, go down to input in the drop down menu, then you're going to want to find a microphone that is connected to your computer, the one you want to record with. Select that and then you're going to want to left click both your audio one L and audio one R channel. So your microphone may have one or two channels, but it's going to want to output to two channels at the end. So that when your video is playing back later, that there's sound coming out of both speakers. So let's go ahead and patch that now. So that basically connects my microphone to the audio one left out and the audio one right out. 
Now if we toggle on the R for record in that audio track one, then we can see that we immediately get some audio levels here. And as I talk, you should see the audio levels go up because obviously that's the sound of me talking. Now, when you hear the speaker uh, talking before you actually start the actual recording, uh, you may want to add in some noise reduction in order to improve the overall quality of the sound. So what you can do to do that really easily for a live recording is to hit plus for effects, go over to Fairlight effects, and then there's one here called noise reduction. Uh, just a very simple setup would be to actually toggle that to auto speech mode. And while the person is talking for the voiceovers, DaVinci Resolve will automatically be trying to figure out the difference between the person speaking and the background noise that's always there, the white static noise in the background. So if we just leave this on auto speech mode and close it, we may get a better result for the recording. Uh, so now we just want to leave audio track one queued up for recording. That's important or else it won't actually record any of the audio uh, when we go over to the ADR section for a record. So you can see here we have a record button, a play button, a stop button. So we can record takes and we can play them back. You can also do rehearse for test recordings that won't actually save. But the basic idea is we click on the cue that we want to record for. And we already know the dialogue because we've written it here. So you just need the voice actor to speak the line and hopefully fit it into the time frame allotted for that cue. So here we have five seconds in order to speak here as a cow, the most majestic of beasts. So let's go ahead and try taking a take. So record here. Here is a cow, the most majestic of beasts. Okay, and what you'll notice here if I expand the timeline is that it has recorded my audio. Uh, we can go ahead and play this back. So I'll hit play on that cue. Here is a cow, the most majestic of beasts. And if we think it's good, we can rate the cue very highly. So I'll just give it five stars here saying, oh yeah, that was a perfect take. And if we're satisfied, we can go ahead and hit done. So that will basically notify everybody else in the project. You may look at this that, oh, that, that cue has been taken care of. The audio is in the timeline. It's good to go. So now we can move on to the second cue. So I'm going to click on that. Notice how when I do that, the timeline cursor jumps. The preview window automatically gets to that area. And we can go ahead and hit record. Now the cow takes a rest. It's very peaceful, isn't it? So let's say, for instance, that we play that back here, so I'll play the cue. Now the cow takes a rest. It's very peaceful, isn't it? And we decide we don't like it very much, so I'm gonna give it three stars here. And we want to re-record the cue to make sure we get a top-notch recording for all of the cues in this voiceover. So I'm gonna hit record one more time. Now the cow, <laughs> now the cow takes a rest. It's very peaceful, isn't it? Clearly I butchered that one, so uh, let's give that one star and one more take. Now the cow takes a rest. It's very peaceful, isn't it? And let's say that that was the one we wanted. So I'm going to give it five stars. Uh, we have this take. I'm selecting take three. You might want to play that back and make sure that it's the right one in the timeline. And if everything's good, we can hit done here. So that's the basic process of how you go through your cues. You set them up uh, and you record them within DaVinci Resolve 15. So you just kind of repeat this process until you've recorded all the audio for your video. And that's just about all there is to it. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out in uh, writing your scripts inside of DaVinci Resolve and recording the voiceovers for them. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my future DaVinci Resolve 15 content.